Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Meta Tuesdays here in Arena Underground. This week we play Gruel Aggro in Best of One Standard. As always, if you enjoy our content, please make sure to click that like and subscribe below. It's a way to support the channel for free. So, what are we playing this week? We're playing Gruel again in Best of One Rank Standard. So, yeah. Why not? I mean, people are just playing basically Mono Red. I mean, we do see other things now, like we see a little bit of Azorius in Best of One, we see a little bit of Soul Tie, but mostly people people are playing Mono Red, especially in the Gold tier, like between Gold 4 and Gold 2 rank. So we thought, well, we are a little bit sick and tired of Mono Red, but we want to play something that's aggro, that's fast as well. So why not play Gruul? So this list, we kind of try to make this list as good as possible against Mono Red. And obviously, it's going to be good against other decks. Now, I think our worst matchup would be maybe Simic Flash. Simic Flash is pretty good against us. But otherwise, we did pretty well. We managed to go 10-2 in one sweep in less than an hour the other day. And we just, yeah, we're going to share some of those games with you guys. So what do we have here? We have our usual Gruul stuff. Pell Collector comes down first, if possible. The then you go Rubber of the Rich. Rubber is great having the haste against um, <clears throat> against all the control decks, especially. Then we also get two copies of Galia, which is awesome, allowing you to just cycle through your unwanted, unneeded cards. Three copies of Sorta Goblin. Three copies of Bone Crusher Giant. This is a little bit more removal, but also a 4-3 body. Three copies of Annex. You guys already know Annex is amazing in the mono red deck and it's pretty good here as well. Three copies of Gruul Spellbreaker. So as you can see, there's a trend with the three copies. Cop three copies of Gruul Spellbreaker, three copies of Bone Crusher, three copies of Sword Side Goblin. We, the, with the exception of Pelt Collector and Robber of the Rich, which we want to be drawing um, as soon as, you know, in our opening hands. Then we also have three copies of Clothis, God of Destiny. I think this is a really good card for against a lot of matches like... Um, you know things that have escaped you get to get all those creatures and cards out of the graveyard you also get to make damage to our opponents so you just chip in a little bit more and if you have devotion um then you get in as well so clothes is a great addition three copies of questing beast we keep going with the three copies and i think three copies of questing beast is just you know it's it's great in this deck it's just another big hasty creature allowing you to get rid of plane wa planeswalkers protection against little creatures in mono red and then we have two copies of Embercleave. So this is this could vary. If you guys really want to play more em Embercleave, go the more traditional rule past three months version with Embercleave. You can do that. But the reason uh, this has changed a bit is because we have two copies of Red Cap Millie, two copies of Scorching Dragonfire, and four copies of Dumri's Ambush. This is our mono red package so basically we are playing we are thinking that we're going to be playing mono red most of the time so we have some a lot of removal here two scorching dragon fires two dom ambush and two red cap millies all right now you can change this up trim these down a bit and maybe add more ember cleaves if you want other than that i think we were pretty successful with this deck and uh we think it's pretty good it could be a tier one deck potentially again in the future and that's it for now we are playing i think the important one of the important things also is the lands uh we are playing 23 lands so we want to make sure that we are as aggro as possible but obviously we need lands for questing beast and ember cleave so 23 i think it's a good amount and um there's going to be a cyborg as well but we're not going to talk about that because this is best of one and we don't need a cyborg so that's it guys we have a lot of cool games for you we hope you enjoy and we'll see you next time have a good one Okay, guys, we are playing Gruel Aggro in Best of One Standard. I guess we keep this. We do have a Fable Passage. Would have been nice to have our Red Source right away, but it doesn't really matter because we're not playing anything in turn one anyway, so we'll keep this. Playing against Bant Ramp, probably, or Simic Ramp. Let's see if we can uh, make this happen. So this is Bant Ramp, sure. My Fable Passage past the turn. So this Arboreal Grazer is going to start defending our opponent. Did they found 
third land. Yes, they have a tap breeding pool into grow spiral. Sure. Do they have another land? All right, so they are ramping the proper way. We're gonna activate this. Hope that they don't have a Nissa in hand. Get a mountain. Unfortunately, this rubber of the rich is not gonna do much. So we're going to start by playing a big Sortag Goblin. Counter. Yep, that's the turn. At least if we play these two mana haste creatures later on, we at least get to maybe kill this Reboreal Bracer, so that should be good. One against three, draws a card, plays a land. Another Grow Spiral, so now they have two cards and Graveyard. If we kill our Boreal Bracer, they'll have three. Okay. We could play Clothis here to start getting rid of stuff. I think that's our best bet here. So we'll go Mountain. We'll attack first. Gives him our opponent three cards. And we'll play Clothis. Pass the turn. So now we can start getting rid of this Uro. Our opponent doesn't have something to get rid of. Clothis. Yes, Elspeth Conquers Death to do that. They have a spell that goes to the graveyard as well. That would be okay because that way they can get Uro right away. Alright, we see a Hydro Crassus. That's not bad. It's a 4. 4. Crassus. Fortune Dragonfire can really kill that. We'll take Uro out. Gain two. I two, alright. Yes, we stumping ground. Questing beast. Or we can just attack and then scorching dragon fire. Yeah, that seems fine. Our opponent doesn't have to block. They're at a very healthy life total, but. Seems fine. Alright, they've blocked Galia. Cool. Get rid of Crassus here. We are doing things, but our opponent's still at a very healthy 20 life points, which could be a problem. As they have already ramped up enough. Keep playing Hydro Crassus. Now the good thing is Elspeth Conquer's death doesn't really get any of these cards. Well, it does get Clothis, so. But they don't have anything great to get from the graveyard as of right now. Alright, they go to Fairy. That's cool, they can give us something back. Give us Clothis back, okay. Draw a card. Boreal Gracer, sure, that's pretty good. Do they have another land? Yes, they do. All right. Well, that's fine. That means they don't have anything great in their hands. So we get to kill to fairy here. We're going to do, they could have a shatter of the sky. But we are going to not be afraid of that and go for it. Gonna go at to fairy here, of course. Short to fairy dies. See what's next. Yep, we see the shatter. Cool. Kind of figure out that's that was the plan there for more opponent play. See, do they have another to fairy? They have a land. One card in hand. You can only wonder what that could be. Might be another Uro. So maybe the correct play was to play Clothis. Alright, it's just a Teferi. So we get to kill Teferi with our Questing Beast. Alright, that's nice. So we are going to go Questing Beast now, even though we can play Sortag Goblin, but 
think this is much better. Attack them. When it goes down to 16, we kill Teferi. Pass the turn. Alright, they found the Uro. That's nice. Yep, and they can replay it right away. Although we do have an Ember Cleave, but we need a land to attach it to Questing Beast. Alright, they go for it. We don't have enough cards in the graveyard to get it back if it dies. Alright, that's good. That's pretty good. Alright, gonna go for it. One in blocks. Let's see if they have a counter. Alright. Opponent goes down to 13. Uro goes to the graveyard. They need one more card to get it out of there. We have Tamiyo, probably looking for an Elspeth Conqueror's death. See the search? Yep, they didn't find it. That's good for us, but they get a few cards into play. A bit annoying, for sure. Alright, they finally play the Nissa. That's fine, but I wouldn't say it's great, right? Like... They go and then go for Ura. All right, so that's cool. Still don't get to protect Nissa, so I'm not quite sure what their plan was there. Play Fable Passage. We can do a few things actually. We can play Sorta Goblin. Oh. Huh. All right, we're gonna activate. Fable Passage, I guess. Now the choice is, do we play a 3-3 Goblin, or do we play a 2-2 Goblin? That is the question. If Nissa dies, they can get it back with Tamiyo, right? So... I guess we play Clothis. Play the Goblin, put... make it... Hasty. So, combat damage that will be dealt by... Okay, whenever requesting beast deals combat damage to an opponent, deals that much damage to target. Planeswalker. So, we can attack... Hmm, an opponent, right? So, if we attack the opponent... Yeah, we have to get rid of Nyssa, so we'll attack like this. Make the first damage like that, make the second damage to Tamiyo. Tamiyo goes to one. And we have an indestructible Clothis in play as a creature at the moment. Alright, let's see. They're still looking for Elspeth Conqueror's death, I believe. They did not find it, that's good. They can play two Uros if they want. Play another Nissa, alright. Okay. Forest breeding pool available. If they're gonna play that Uro or not, they have to, because otherwise we're gonna exile it with Clothes, so. I think they probably want to do that. All 
Alright, opponent goes ahead, plays the Uro, draws a card. They can play the second Uro, I guess, to gain more life. But they have to tap the Breeding Pool. Alright, cool. Rubber of the Rich is pretty good. Get rid of that Uro. They have to block with everything, right? Play Robber. Yeah, I, th I think they're dead. There's no coming back from this, right? Like, if they block Questing Beast with Uro, they're dead. Yeah, we're just gonna go all in here. Let's, let's make sure, right? Let's, so... We can kill Uro, hit for 5, then one of these just kills it. We can kill Uro. They'll hit for 5, these two kill them. We can... Yeah, I don't think any way for them to get back here. At... Just gonna go all in. See what sort of blocks they make. They do have 3... They have mana open, so I don't know if they have like a Brazen Bar or something. We don't even have to do all the damage to Uro because Questing Beast has Death Touch, so... Yeah, this looks looks good. Yep. And that's game. Good game, Bant Ramp. Okay, guys, we are playing Gruel Aggro in Best of One Standard. We can't really keep this hand, although it's adorable, but we need more lands, so we're going to mulligan this. We are on the draw. Ugh, this is probably worst, so we're going to have to go to five, because if we don't draw that red source, we're done for. All right. So yeah, this is this is definitely more like the hand we would have liked to keep. So I think we send Fable Passage and Red Cap Melee to the bottom there. We're on the draw, so you know, draw something. He has Shadow Spear, so I wonder if this is Mono White. So Stumping Grounds tapped. Past the turn. Let's see if we see an Ajani or something else here from Mono Y. Usually Daxos. Healer's Hawk would have been played on the first turn, I think. Yep, so this is Daxos. That's cool. Alright, so Daxos could trade with Sorta Goblin. So some interesting options. Wonder if they want to trade with Galia. I don't think we mind trading Galia here. I'd rather keep the rubber of the rich in play, so... Eh, or even the Sorta Goblin is fine. Okay, we're gonna try to trade in Galia. I think I don't mind this. I, I doubt the opponent's gonna trade. They don't really need to trade. Yeah, they take two. But at least if we have something in play we could Dumri's ambush later on to get rid of something like linden we definitely want to get rid of linden so that sounds good to me and then daxos doesn't have like a great block yeah they go on the attack sure all right that's pretty fine so we are definitely going to kill this linden go on the attack I believe they keep it's interesting though they, they could race us actually 
But uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. I mean, we can draw two more Domri's ambushes and things like that. We see Heliod. That's that's fine. And we see Alcid. Okay. Well, I mean, they can, they can start blocking at least with Daxel. So that's good. They gain a life there. They put a counter. I will put it on Daxel. So most likely they do the same. I'm not sure what they what why they're thinking about this, but all right, fine. Oh, they attack. Cool. That's interesting. We can rubber torch a goblin. I'm gonna make it haste. Attack with everything. Take action. Draw two cards. Ooh, those are nice cards. When it goes down to 12, see what else they find here. We are down to 15, so we have to keep that in mind. We are hoping to find an Embercleave at some point. Okay. Alright, so they're going to start gaining life here with uh, and putting counters on things with their Heliod. Alright, just attack with that. Keep Daxos on the defense. That's nice. Still don't draw anything great. I think we just annex here. Pass the turn. Yep, no great attack, so we'll just pass. Let our opponent do its thing. So now we're kind of top decking. Let's see what they decide on doing here and what other card they have in hand. This is this is very interesting. Like what what could this be that they haven't played it, right? Alright, pass the turn. So this is cool. We can uh, questing beast and attack with questing beast. See if our opponent wants to block. It's gonna go in with Questing Beast. Let our opponent make some decisions there. Alright, they are gonna do that. That's fine with us, unless they have, they could have some weird instant sorcery thing. All right, they have protection, but at least we get rid of Alcid, so it's not the worst, I guess. Yep, sure. Actually, protection doesn't protect from death touch, so that was really good. That was really good. Wow, I didn't think I knew that, so that's, that's something good. Um... Does our opponent even have anything here? Like, what could they have? I have no idea. Yep, that's game. Good game, Mono White. Alright guys, we are playing Rule Aggro. Uh, and, uh, yeah, here we go again with a hand that doesn't have the proper mana options so I guess we keep it because we do have Fable Passage so we'll try it but and we're playing against Asorius so it could be a problem potentially with those Shatter the Sky but maybe our opponent doesn't find one time but they are on the play so most likely they will find one we're gonna continue anyway no point in regretting our decisions I mean, it's normally fine. We only have like maybe one turn, you know, one 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 mana play, which is um, forget the name of our one one green creature, but that's the only thing we could do on turn one. I guess this is sort of okay. All right, questing beast. So we're gonna go robber here. I'm gonna start stealing our opponent's stuff. Hopefully, not Lance. Oh, actually, yeah, because we're on the draw, we didn't get to steal anything there. That's annoying. We wouldn't 
mind our opponent just playing to fairy here. That would be cool. Alright, I think we just... Hit them for two. That way we can rubber of the reach and start stealing stuff. Sure, they absorb. It's cool. Alright, we still don't get to steal anything, but that's one absorb out of their hand. Let's see what's next. Alright, Fable Passage. Cool. We get to Questing Beast next turn. That's going to be interesting. We are go also getting close to Embercleave. We see the Shatter. That's perfect. We do not mind that opponent. Alright. So, what do we want to do here? I think... Hmm. Have four... Four, sure. So, yeah, I think we just slam Robber here. Although, Questing Beast seems really appealing. Alright, we'll go Questing Beast, because we have two. Opponent goes down to 15. Pass the turn. See what else they have here. It's a Narset. Great. That's not another Shatter or an Elspeth Conqueror's death, so... See what they find here. Alright, they found it's a fairy. That is great. But what do we do here? We can rubber or we can annex. Yeah, I think we I think we go annex because at least we get something out of the deal, right? But also just robber in case they play to fairy. Huh. Alright, we're gonna go annex. This this at least kind of save us from a shatter in a way, you know, it's not doing much right now because we don't have any more red creatures in play, but sort of fine. And we do have Embercleave at the ready for next turn if our opponent doesn't do anything. Let's see what they do. Okay, they get an island. Elspeth conquers death. Sure, gets rid of Questing Beast. That's okay, opponent. We get a land. Alright, this is this is sorta of cool. So we can we can hit them with Questing Beast again. Hit them with both of these. I like this, actually, because we could get something cool. See what we find here. It's a Teferi. Who doesn't like Teferi? Who does not like Teferi? We love Teferi. We're going to play Teferi. And we are going to... Minus Teferi. The mid-zero. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think we got it, guys. I mean, Teferi, they can't counter anything. So... Yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to do here. They can give us back our Annex, but... We sort of have six points of damage already in play and in hand, so... Alright, sure, they play Teferi. Give us back our Annex. They can't play counters, so they're dead. Good game game, good game, good game. Plus the fairy. We could just questing beast. Can't do anything. That's game. Good game, Masori's control. Okay, guys, we are back playing Gruel Aggro. Still think this deck is really powerful and the current best of one standard. So, yeah, we are on the draw, which we are usually for some reason, but... All right, we'll keep this. We do have our two lands here, so hopefully we draw into more lands eventually. All right, our opponent Mulligan. This is a Plains and a Shadow Spears. This is Mono White. Okay. 
And what do we want to do? We don't really have turn one place. So we're going to go stumping ground tapped. We don't want to shuck ourselves against Mono White. So let's see what they play. This is a Daxos. All right, so we need to get rid of Daxos before we do anything. So stump, get rid of Daxos. We do have another giant here against like on a Johnny or something like that. We see a Plains and we see a Linden. All right, Linden huh, could be a real problem. So guess we go Gruel Spellbreaker. Make it a 4-4. Four, four. This way we can dumb Reese ambush next turn. If we attack with a 3-3 Gruel, a three, three Gruel Spellbreaker, our opponent doesn't need to block. Alright, so we see Passion Orator. Okay. Quibs. Sure. No attacks, but that's okay. Because now we can dumb Reese ambush. Get rid of Linden. No attacks. Uh, I mean, we could, but... Yeah, this is fine. I don't want our opponent to attach this to this 2-2 and start, like, gaining life and stuff. Alright, they get Banishing Light. That's cool. So, we get rid of our Spellbreaker. Thankfully, we do have another one. Alright, they attach. They attack. Gain 3. Well. We get to Questing Beast, which is a 4-4... Hasty, death touch, trampling creature. What do you get, opponent? They play land. All right. Um, yes, we'll trade. That is fine with us. Now we have a bunch of options. We can play Bone Crusher. Yep, we can play Galia. Attack for two. And we have Embercleave at the ready. So, yeah, that's game. Good game, Mono White. Alright, guys, we are playing Gruel Aggro in Best of One Standard. And finally, we go first after I don't know how many games. We're going to keep this. And I guess we start with Temple of Abandon to scry. What do we find? We find a forest. We'll keep the forest just because we have questing beasts that we want to play on curve. On curve. So, yep. We're playing a... Uh, ooh, this might be like green stumpy or something. So, let's go forest rubber. See if we can steal something good from our opponent. Uh, it's just a land that's annoying. All right. That's the turn. We see a Growth Chamber Guardian. Yep. Alright. I guess we'll see if our opponent wants to trade here. We don't mind trading one of our rubbers here. Get to steal two cards. One land and one other land. So our opponent must be happy. We're putting all their lands from the top of their deck here. Alright, they let it go. That's, that's nice. We definitely don't mind that. See what's next. Are they playing a creature or using the growth chamber guardian to find another guardian? That's a tough decision. Ooh, they go for that. So they're going to do it to protect. Yep. All right. That's fine. So we're going to make them decide here. See what they want to do. If they want to trade with questing beast or if they just want to trade with the robber of the rich. All right, we'll get a mountain. Play Questing Beast. Attack with everything. At this point, we just want to steal cards from them, and we we haven't been able to do that, right? Yep. Okay. They do that. They find a Grown Chamber Guardian. It's cool. So they shuffle their deck. Hopefully, they don't, you know, lands go to the bottom. All right. We still have... Ooh, Great Hench. Yes, we like Great Hench. Alright, we're gonna kill a robber, take six, go down to eight. Four.
Paradise Druid. Yep, that's fine. And Gilded Goose. Okay. Huh. Interesting. So this is like green stumpy ramp or something. Definitely interesting. So we get to pay two here. I think we're going to attack with these and then we can play the Great Hench. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to go all in. Ooh, we got a Growth Chamber Guardian. We like that. Alright, opponent. How are you going to block here? So, you either lose your Growth Chamber Garden and block with Paradise Rid or Rubber of the Rich, or just do that. Go down. They go now down to four. We get to play the Great Hench. And play this Growth Chamber Garden. Uh, we don't need to take action. Decline. Alright, can we survive? I don't know. Our opponent can start just putting stuff on the battlefield. What are they planning, I guess? Okay. I mean, we do have a questing beast, so another questing beast in hand, so that's fine. They have to block with this growth chamber, right? We're gonna pay two. We're gonna play questing beast. No. Or yes, can we... Should we do that? Kill the Growth Chamber Guardian with the Questing Beast. Go down with three. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Comes in with a counter. Play Galia. Comes down with a counter. Play. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> Good game, uh, Green Stumpy. Okay, guys, we are on the draw with Gruel Aggro and Best of One Standard, and this is a keep. We are on the draw like we always are. Sure, we see a Temple of Mystery, so this is either Simic or Bant Ramp. But this is nice. We get to finally play Forest into Pell Collector. That, uh, that seems good. We don't have a turn to play, but we could draw into one. All right. Ooh, this is cool. This is Soul Tie. Nice. So our opponent could have a bunch of Tyrant Scorns. They could have Raska as well for turn 4 removal. See what they go with. Okay, they take a Questing Beast. That's probably the best choice there, even though we have another one. But the one card they can't get rid of. So we'll start with Rubber of the Rich. Grow the Pell Collector, attack for 4. Opponent goes down to 14. We take an Aether Hob from them. That's nice. Well, most likely we're going to see a Tyrant, a tyrant Scorn on the Rubber of the Rich. I don't know if this, if their list is playing like Ritual Sud or it could be Cry of the Carnarium as well. Well, this is not Cry of the Carnarium because they would have done it then. So I'm assuming they have something there. Alright, we're going to play Sorta Goblin. Make it a 3-3. Three, three, depending on what they do. If they turn score on our, pe our Pell Collector, then... I think we just make it a 2-2 two, two and attack, so... See what they choose here. It is a tough decision. Alright, they go with a Robber. Yep. That's cool. So, yeah, we put a counter on Sorta Goblin. Wanna grow our Pell Collector. Attack for 3. Your opponent goes down to 11. Past the turn. Let's see if they have a Rath Raska. They don't, huh? Okay, we get a tap land. That's not great, but we'll keep Dom Domri's ambush. Attack here for six. Opponent goes down to five. Pass the turn. Let's see what's next. Okay, that's an island and maybe Ashok or. Do they have anything here? They need another Tyrant Scorn, right? They have Nyssa. That's great, actually. Because we're getting a Domri's Ambush next turn, so they are pretty dead. Forest? Yep, that's cool. 
attack. Yep. All right. End of the turn. Bone Crusher on your face. Okay. Dumb Reach Ambush. And. Yeah, that's going to be game. Good game, Solta. Okay, everyone, we are playing Gruel Aggro in Best of One Standard, and this hand looks good. Unfortunately, we have a tab land here, so what do we want to do here? Because if we play, we can't really play something else later, so we might as well just... Although if we draw a land... Ooh, that's a tough choice there. Alright, we're going to scry. We do need to draw more land, so we're going to send that to the bottom of the library past the turn. We see a Liliana Sleeve, so this is either Esper or Asorius Control. We also see a Temple of Enlightenment that's scryed to bottom. Yeah, we get a Rogue Island, so we play that. Play Pell Collector. We are a little slow here for being on the play with Gruel Aggro, but what we have to do... We're going to go Rubber. Steal some cards from our opponent if they don't have a Brazen Borrower. Seems like they don't. We put a land on the... We exiled a land, which is not what we wanted. We want to exile like a counter or something. Alright, at least we get to get in for a bit. They're going to bounce Spell Collector, I would imagine. Alright. So we go... Huh, I like, I like going Annex here. That seems like the right move. And attacking... Yeah, we could have played Pell Collector, I guess, there. But this is fine. Attack the Fairy, steal something. Hope our opponent doesn't have the Shatter yet. Alright, Birth of Miletus is okay, I guess. Um, Yeah, we're not going to play the Pell Collector. I don't... I don't really want to run all our creatures into a Shatter this guy, so I'd rather do this. Again, we're a little bit slow here just because our opponent could still draw the Shatter if they don't have it right now. But we could get lucky and hope that our opponent does not have the proper amount of lands, huh? Alright, let's see if they're going to counter this. Alright, they don't. Just gonna go on the attack again. We're still afraid of a shatter this guy. Exiled another land, not what we wanted to do. Alright, I think they have to go shatter if they have it, right? Like they just they just have to. These are hasty, so these are five hasty damage here, right? Yeah, that was the best the best idea there that we did. I think we got three tokens. That's nice. So we can get our opponent down to 8 and do 5 more damage here. So they'll need another Shatter. I think that's our best bet, right? Like... Alright, we'll... We'll avoid doing that. We'll just play a hasty... Gruel Spellbreaker. Attack for six. One goes down to five. And we make them have the answers here. They play. Yep, they play Dream Trawler. Huh. I mean, if we draw Number Cleave. Ooh, my God. That's the best. The best draw, guys. Heart of the cards. That's amazing. So let's think about this. So if we attack with all these four, we're paying two for Ember Cleave. So we can Domri's Ambush. Huh. They're gonna gain they are at least at eight, right? So Yeah, we can we have do this 
they have to let it go. This is even better. We just we just don't re don't resambush it. They have they like it either dies or or it taps. So yeah, this is game. Awesome. We could have done Embercleave too, but I feel like this is better. That was awesome. All right. All attack. Good game. Asorius control. Okay, guys, we are playing Gruel Aggro and Best of One Standard. So this hand is interesting. It's a lot of removal and a Clothis. Um, yeah, we'll keep it. We are on the play, so maybe we could draw into more hasty action. This leaves are telling me this is maybe Bant or Simic Ramp. So play Stumping Grounds tapped. Past the turn, opponent plays a Plains and an Owl Seed. Okay, so this might be something different after all. I feel like I have to kill Owl Seed, right? Like if they... Hmm. No, this is fine. We'll play, we'll play Robber and just start attacking and doing things. We don't steal anything yet, but... Seems fine. One goes down to 18. Please a Daxos. Alright, so this is what I think it was. Alright, great. So we get to we get two stumping grounds. Get rid of Daxos. They can start protecting stuff later, but we still we can still kill this Alcid, right? Alright. So let's see what they play next. Maybe we'll opt to Red Cap Millie. Alright, they go for Banishing Light, so still wouldn't want to kill that Alcid. Hmm. Alright, we'll let that go. Sure. Get in. Alright, so I guess we'll get Clothis. It's not. Or we just play Annex. We could just play Annex as well. Let's play Annex. That seems fine for now. Let's see what our opponent has next. They could kind of slow down now and play a couple of things. They have two Alzits, Protection, a Johnny. All right. So the good thing is they can't pay for the Johnny Protection. So we might be okay here. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was. I guess just to. Get a Johnny to grow. Fine with us. So. Do we want to do here? I think we get rid of a Johnny. I really don't want a Johnny to start growing here. Then we can't really kill it. So. We're going to have to do that. Get rid of a mountain. Play. Play robber of the ridge. Maybe we just attack with Robber. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't want this Alcid to start attacking, actually. Although, it's not a bad idea, but... Alright, they go... They're gonna get another Ajani token. Let's see if they go on the attack or not this time. Alright, they did not. What do we want to do here? guess we attack with everything let our opponent make some blocks all attack a Johnny yeah this card one clothes draw some cards that, that's fine if I was our opponent I would just let this go right They do, I mean, they do have some good, some sort of blocks. They can keep a Johnny alive. I don't know at the cost of what. So it's going to go down to one, no matter what. So, and we get rid of these two, including Alcid. So we get a token out of the deal too. Play Pell Collector. So it's 
gonna be nice. Alright, sure. Why? We get to stomping grounds, tab, play clothes. Well, this. Bro. These guys attack for everything. Take action, draw two cards. And that's game. Good game, mono white. That was all for today. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And click the bell icon if you want to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Have a good one.